Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to look at the 2020 Reflection model number 311 BHS. This is uh, from the second half of 2020, so it has some new updates on it that the first half didn't have. Uh, but always be careful, guys, when you're looking at our at our new videos that the colors and options match what you're actually considering at the dealership you're looking at. Uh, this particular trailer comes in right around 11.5 for the weight, so definitely three-quarter ton towable, not half ton towable, of course. Uh, it's got four slides, a front bedroom, and a rear bunk room. It's probably the most popular reflection bunk model they sell. Uh, but yeah, really nice trailer. Let's have a look. So the regular reflection just has a regular pin box here. The 150 series reflection has that swivel pin box. Um, up front here, we have a rougher style storage. This is where your battery would go. This is also where like maybe some rougher blocks or, or wood or something like that would go just for, for storage. There is a nice little light here that you can you can hit and it will light up the hitch when you're hooked up at nighttime. Just swinging around this side here. Uh, like I was saying, this one comes in right around 11 and a half thousand pounds. We have propane on both sides of the trailer. Just one tank on either side. And that's just to keep things level. It makes it a little easier to put in and out as well. We have the big pass-through storage right through here. Nice and clean. You notice there's no plumbing vents or, uh, or drainage going down through that. Right here is our auto leveling. With reflection, it's six, uh, with the reflection bigger models, it's six point electric. And then you can see here we have all our fittings, outside shower, you can turn your pump on from here. There's a receptacle, you winterize from here, you sanitize from here, you flush the black water tank from here. All that from in here. And this compartment's kept warm, so all those fittings are kept warm uh, for those colder style days. Um, and then you have uh, three gate valves here. There is another gate valve towards the back for the rear tank but uh, we can get to that later. Awesome, big slam latch doors, bingo bango. Six gallon water heater, gas and electric, furnace. The 311 is uh, 50 amp service as a standard, which means it's prepped for a second AC. This particular one says the one AC, that's something you can always order or, or add on after the fact. And then they use two different style slider systems on this one. For the wardrobe slide, it's the Schwinn Tech, and then for the rest of the slides, it's the rack and pinion style down below. <clears throat> These have the uh, 12 cubic foot fridge. This hole down here is to bring in or out the other slide if you need to manually. <clears throat> this one has two black water tanks. It has two washrooms. So this is your second black water flush. The first one's in that front storage that we looked at. Big 16 inch tires, nitrofill, bearing buddies, aluminum rims of course. Um, and then that's just one of the, uh, the landing gear legs there for your auto leveling. And then this is the drain for the rear washroom and the outside kitchen. That's the drain for that. The other drain was further up front, and then there's a gate valve down there for that one. That's awesome. It's a little slippery here, so we may be a little shaky as we make our turns. Um, of course, we have a ladder on this guy. You have to get up on your roof to check your seals. Uh, I like to say every three months. That's, that's a good number. You can walk on the roof of the slides of this trailer even, so get up there, do that. Sweep off your slides if you need to. You have a hitch down here with wiring, so you can pull with that. Uh, you have to be less than 75 feet in Ontario to make that work. And then, uh, just let the camera lady kind of get around the corner here and turn around, and we'll get a look at this outside kitchen. So, uh, nice cabinetry all around. Okay, same with cabinetry as inside. Big grab handles, reversed uh, raised door panels. This sink is plumbed into that tank we were talking about. Right here we have your two burner cooktop. Okay. This is just a regular drawer. Okay. Electric fridge, not gas or 12 volts. Uh, so you have to be on 110 to use this. Um, these guys pay really close attention to detail. They have a little bumper right here so that this knocks against here instead of denting the door. And then there's a receptacle down here with 12 volt outlets, USB, and 12 volts. Awesome. Uh, for the later models of so the later years of this model, they added on a secondary awning. So we have one awning off the slide of this trailer and then another awning off the main body of this trailer. Both have LED lights underneath it. You can see we have our fancy uh, uh, outside speakers with blue backlit um, speakers there. Just the other side of the storage. This is wider because it doesn't have the fittings back here, uh, but good storage here. And then just here, our other propane tank. Awesome, let's have a look inside. Hey guys, we're inside the 2020 Reflection 311BH. Thanks for tuning in. Um, right up front here, we're in the front bedroom. 
Uh, you can see we have a lot of storage all the way across the top here. These are fairly deep. Storage on both sides, receptacles on both sides with little bonus cupboards there. Um, we have storage underneath this bed as well. Okay, that comes up nice and easy. And then one of the new updates they did for the second half of 19 and, and 20 going forward are these new blinds. These are just the slow rise uh, nightshades there instead of the pleated ones. And then I like how in this slide here, they've cut, so this is a slide, they've cut this out for uh, storage and they've given me that second window there so you still have some cross ventilation. Some big drawers nice and below. Okay, and some big cupboards here to the left. Oops. And then drawers down below. Oh, we can't really see that, but they're deep. And then just swinging in here to the bedroom, solid glass shower enclosure, whatever's water, whatever water's on the inside of these doors, it's just gonna run down here. They're not gonna end up on your floor or your trailer. We have an upgraded um, shower head, pardon me. We have a skylight in the shower, obviously a vent in the bathroom as well, pour some toilet. Okay. And then swinging around here, you got your medicine cabinet. They give you some spare uh some starter kit uh, chemical there, that's what that is. And then some more storage down there as well. Awesome. Just come right through the washroom here and we'll see the main living area. So um, we have two slides in this living space so it feels really big for a bunkhouse. Um, just a quick note, our windows are on the door side of the trailer so that actually makes sense we're looking at our site. Uh, let's get nitty gritty. They have a legit pantry here. That's actually a motion sensitive light, so that'll come on when you turn when you open up the pantry here. Uh, on the regular reflections, we have a convection microwave now, standard. And they just added this window on some models. That's a nice feature. The new Fury on range top, and then the new oven. Uh, this oven, you don't have to light. You don't have to spark. You just turn it on, and it lights itself just fine. We have a 12 cubic foot fridge. Okay, that's gas electric. It's not just electric, so that's going to be a little more flexibility. And then good storage here in our hutch as well. Okay, nice deep hutch. They move the receptacles from here up here for 2020. Um, big drawers. I believe one of these is fake, yeah. So this has a little bit of storage here, but that's actually where your fuses and your breakers are from that side. Same idea. And then big drawers down here as well. Um, there is storage on the edge of the island here. Nice big drawers. Nice open cabinet down here. It's, it's dark in there so it's hard to see. But a good spot for a, uh, um, uh, a garbage can or whichever. Um, theater seats right here. They're actually across from your TV. Okay, They're heat and massage. Okay. Pretty easy to go out. That. <clears throat> and then storage above the TV. This one right here is the uh, the DVD player and radio for the trailer. Uh, Plug right into your TV. TV, like I said, is across from the theater seat. Fireplaces right there. And then just some bonus storage. There. Maybe a good spot for CDs or DVDs, something like that. Who uses CDs anymore? Awesome. Let's head right into the bedroom. <clears throat> so, bed here, this lifts up out of the way. This is a tri-fold sofa down below here, so you can put two adults on here. It's gonna pull out this way. Comes out to right about here. I actually tried this recently, and you still have access to these drawers with this uh, bed out. Just gonna lower that there. Double bed above, good wardrobe down here below. Okay. And then these are really big drawers. Because realistically you have three or four beds back here. So you need to have you know drawers for each of those kids. And then this is your built-in ladder. Uh, just like a metal finish on that shelf like that. Good sliding window. Sliding window. And then myself and the camera are going to switch spots. And have a look at our secondary bathroom. This is pretty basic. But we have a sink. There is no medicine cabinet there. But there is storage down below. And then again another porcelain toilet with a window. Um, yeah. Awesome. 
Cool guys, that was the 2020 Reflection 311 BHS. If you like that video, click like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. Our email is lazy sales at lazyacres.com or our phone number is 705-833-2539. Thanks guys, have a good day.